Then you're going to slowly pull into the plie forward. So your weight's over your foot. Now you're going to turn the plie. You're going to turn it just to here. When you get to here, then if you push. You know, when you're young, you can just do everything. You know, and uh, uh, you don't need to sleep as much and whatever. And you just have this, this boundless energy. Ooh, don't relax. Don't relax your leg. Don't relax your leg. He may miss his youthful energy, but 77-year-old Finus Young finds energy enough to inspire others. Head to the left, head this way, eyes here, eyes this way. He draws on his powerful reserves to teach rigorous adult beginner classes six times a week in the Alvin Ailey Dance Extension Program. Push. I can demonstrate the exercises of the bar. I'm able to work my feet and my legs and the positioning. You know, I, because I also have an arthritic hip, so that, that limits me sometimes. And of course, like everyone else, as you get older, your back gets, I can't raise my leg to 90 degrees in an arabesque. Push the hip. Push His arabesques way. and technique once made him a standout dancer on the international scene and a much sought after teacher of professional dancers. By the time I think you reach 77, you have to start thinking, you have to start making choices. The choices Finus Young made give us insight into how older adults can shift and change and build on what we know. Well, I'm always trying to update. I'm, I would say I'm always trying to do that. Watch yourself in the mirror. But also in your life, it seems that you're always trying to update. Well, because I'm a Buddhist. So I begin every morning in this room. I've been doing this now since 1966, every morning. And the first thing I do is I say thank you that I'm grateful for my life and my good fortune to be born in America and to have what I have. You know, at the same time, I find that, that I, I want to continually enlighten myself. I want to become smarter. I want to be able to see more clearly so I can be a better teacher. Finus began to follow his instincts early. I was born in Hawaii during you know, 1937, and then World War II came, and this is before TV, there was no internet, no TV, and you're in an island in the middle of the Pacific. So how did I decide I wanted to be a ballet dancer? I told my parents when I was six, I said, I wanna, I wanna study ballet, I wanna become a famous dancer, I wanna go to New York and Hollywood. Because I'd seen the movies, right? That's all I knew, the movies. And I did, I mean, I, well, I didn't become famous in that sense, but I mean, I had a good career, you know? And I did my movie and I was on Broadway. And then he took a detour. This was 1969, you know, the moon and Woodstock and LSD. And I left the ballet world for three years when I was a Buddhist fanatic. By the early 70s, he made the choice to return to dance, this time in a new way. So I started teaching downtown on 14th Street. And my first class I had four students and I said, oh, well, obviously this is a mistake. I'm never going to make a living here. But in time, my class was full, and, in, and soon, by then, like a year or two, I had my own studio, and then by that time, my class was packed. I was one of three leading teachers in New York City. As he neared 60, and a suburban dance teacher suggested he make videos to help teachers like her. Then teachers started to buy them. And I thought, oh, that's, that's wonderful, you know? I mean, because I had never thought that it could be a business. Now I've made 46 of these instructional videos. Finus created a business. Boxes of videos and shipping material fill two rooms of his rambling Manhattan apartment. And he uses Facebook and social media to promote and sell. People all over the world, teachers and adult students, you know, all over the world, study with my videos. The income helps. We came from a very poor family, so I wasn't born into money. You know, and I've always been in the arts. So as you might imagine, we don't make that much money, you know, unless you're the megastar, right? And I had a studio, and I always just reinvested everything. Um, <clears throat> so partly, I'm lucky that I'm able to, to work and my products sell, so I have a comfortable life. Video work and his teaching provide the rewards that keep Finus Young going. Working with adult beginners now at the Ailey School has been wonderful for me because you're dealing with adults who, for the most part, have never danced. Head to the right. It makes me feel like I'm vibrant, that I'm in good shape, that I'm stronger, um, and I like learning something new. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. They, they don't have ballet bodies. They don't have ballet minds. On your right. Well, first I changed how I walked <laughs> because he starts with the basics and just your posture and, and alignment. And I want to 
age gracefully and, and remain my height as opposed to. There are people who love ballet. They, they've always wanted to learn and they work so hard and they start to, to change. They start standing up taller and they start exhibiting more balance and control of their movements and grace in their movements. Push. Yeah. Now get ready for the pirouette. Aquinas is a teacher. There's nothing, there's nobody like him. There is nobody like him. He actually knows how to teach. Is that you're hanging on a thing, so you want He knows the importance of keeping his own body moving. And I do my stretches, which can be on the floor. I have all different ways that I do stretches, you know, standing up and sitting on the floor. But I try to make sure that I cover all the, the points in my body. We asked Finus for tips to help the rest of us improve our physical lives. Well, the first thing is that you have to have good posture. You have to know how to stand up so that otherwise nothing else works. So that's the first idea of balancing your body. <clears throat> and then you have to understand that all the movement comes from the center of your body. We may even see and hear more from Finus Young in the future. Pull, push, pull. Ooh, stomach, stomach. Ooh. Well, I used to say, you know, I'm only going to keep teaching until I'm 90, but I don't know, now I'm 77, so I guess I'll push on for her. until I probably drop in the studio, you know. Body and just rest, rest.